You know, I love decorating farming. Farming is just short for farmhouse style. It's farm plus homey equals farming. In other words, it's a down-home look, it's comfy, and it's filled with happy vintage goodness. And who doesn't love that? Right? Well, today I want to share with you my faux fireplace and how I put this farmy look together. Well, my cute dad built this mantle for me several years ago, and I love it so much I want to marry it. It's adorable and it makes me happy and I get to see it every day when I walk through my hallway and it just reminds me of my dad. It's one of my favorite things in my whole house because my dad made it. You know, he can build pretty much anything. In fact, he was on the team that designed the Tomahawk missile, which is a heat seeking missile for the military. And he designed airplane engines. How do you do all that? I don't know. The man's a genius, I tell ya. I am pretty proud of my papa. Mm -hmm. And of course, he can build adorable mantles, like the one behind me, the one that I want to marry. Yeah, that one. And that's the one I'm gonna show you behind the scenes how I put this farming look together. I have a great tip to share with you at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned till the end. Now, it's time to show you this farmy faux fireplace. I placed my faux fireplace in the hallway just outside the bedrooms and it is just the perfect spot because I get to walk by it every day. The fireplace is about 12 and a half inches deep from the wall and my dad added crown molding and then this really pretty scalloped trim that you can get from Vintage Woodworks online. I have a link below so you can check them out. Then I um, purchased these fire logs and you just plug them in and they glow and it actually has a crackling sound. For the hearth, I found these stepping stones from Home Depot and underneath I put cardboard to protect my wood floors and you can do the same on carpeted floors too. In the back of the fireplace I have a display board and it's one of those science fair boards in black. It's foam core trifold and I painted that to look like a brick backdrop. So basically I just took some white paint and diluted it and painted a brick pattern on the back and then I sponge painted orange and red and yellow paint. I added glitter and then I took a bottle of glue and just created long strings of what's supposed to look like sparks and flames. And then I glittered the whole thing to reflect the light of the fireplace. The fire logs look so much better with the brick background than the wall. You can hear the crackling sound, and it's very charming. You can also use the logs without the sound. As you can see, the glitter is reflecting the warm, glowing light from the logs. And underneath, I put twigs and even some iridescent Easter grass to kind of reflect the light and make it look like glowing embers. So next time you're out junking or antiquing and you find a mantle, drag it on home and I promise it's super easy to put this look together. If you like going to antique malls and flea markets, keep an eye out for vintage shutters and old window frames. They really add a lot of charm to your home decor. I also love the cotton wreath. There's a link below if you like that too. I put a battery operated flickering candle inside of the oil lamp and it's great because you don't have the hazard of real flames. But you get that warm glow which is so welcoming. I had a few other vintage items on top of my mantle like this Daniel Boone book and this distressed cow and it just adds to the farmy 
farm style, farmhouse look that I'm after. Well, thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out the links below for some of the things that I decorated with. Now, here's a great tip for you. I use one of these little remote control things with an on and off switch and it makes it super easy to turn it off and on. Just like magic. Let me see, there's one more thing I wanted to share with you. You know, I think it's so important to create a cozy environment for our family. But the most important thing is to create a home our family feels loved in. The way that you do that is by the kind words that you speak and the loving things that you do. We need to be thankful and be forgiving and live the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Well, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, this would be a great time so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. Well, God bless your darling heart, and y'all come back now, you hear? Well, my cute dad built this for fireplace for me many, many years ago, and I love it so much I want to marry it, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, what are you waiting for? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I have a great tip at the end of this video. It's a big la la la. Oh my goodness. Well, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I would love it if you would. Okay? Yeah. Alright?